intractable diseases which cannot be cured by medical methods. Fourthly, everyone ought to know the rejuvenation of tissue organs. Everybody should not be superstitious in the regenerative substance announcement today. We did not create any new ingredients, new drugs, or new chemical compositions. But we only reprocessed our daily meals into something that can activate our regenerative potential. It would be unnecessary to explain, and we could easily get regenerative restoration, if food from nature can activate regenerative potential. That is why we need to extract it from our daily meals. How does one extract it? We extract it by depending on cell culture to transform into tissue organs, which was announced in 2002. Until now, there are few in the world can achieve it. We have begun a series of experiments to get a regenerative nutrition spectrum. In other words, we have known the secrets of what cells should be fed and transform the secrets into a spectrum. Then, according to the spectrum, we calculate and code each ingredient to finally form regenerative substances. The regenerative substance is something people can take daily and even is a must for people to have daily meals in the future. We use three models to accomplish the process. Since most of us here are not the professionals, I will explain the process briefly. First is the model of somatic cells. We use somatic cells, not the stem cells. Somatic cells are derived from the intestinal epithelium, which are cultured into tissue cells and transformed into stem cells and then into tissues and organs. Nobody else in the world has achieved such a result. Some has just finished part of it in picture six. In 2002, I announced the achieved results, but everyone said that it was impossible. However, all of the studies and research around the world now are following our roots. The scientist who cloned Dolly, the sheep, also declared that he began to focus on transforming somatic cells into stem cells, instead of reproducing cloning. All of them have few results, but we have achieved it. Through this, we get a nutritional spectrum which is like a prescription. It is also like cooking, where we know what to cook with various raw materials. The other model is tissue organ regeneration from tissue explants. Nobody else has achieved it. We directly culture organs and detect the nutrients required during tissue organ regeneration and establish a nutritional spectrum. This is the second kind of spectrum. The third spectrum is obtained directly from the human body. We take some human tissues in hospital operating rooms and culture the tissue organs in vitro. So we obtain three kinds of regenerative nutrition spectra by combining the results of animal experiments and human body experiments. These three spectra are also the foundation of regenerative substances for the human body. Making regenerative substances based on these spectra is a big project of neutrology and bromatology. In the future, one man serving of food support three people. The diet became refined, which means we analyze the composition of regenerative nutrients and code it, and use these codes based on the spectra. Then what is the code? Each composition has a spectrum, and list every composition spectrum. Then we will see what the cells need during its life circle, and in the end a coding is formed through computer programming. Take amino acids, for example. There are several amino acids in our human body, Besides non-essential amino acids, we have to obtain some amino acids that cannot be synthesized by ourselves through intaking foods. Thus, we encode all kinds of amino acids and then the cell's needs, such as which is the first to be taken and which is the last to be taken, what the cells need when you are excited, and what the cells need when you are sleeping. This is the code of amino acids. That is the code formation. So this is the process of code formation. I just introduced this concept today. I believe that scientists will soon make this dream come true. Ever since human beings were born, we have shared the same foods with animals. Animals eat goats and rabbits as food, and human beings are same as animals in that we also eat vegetables, pork, and mutton as food. The difference between animal and mankind is that mankind's food is more refined. But the next step is different because we provide the essential foods. But now all of you have known the origin of regenerative nutrients. Indeed, the GIC and the elixir that our volunteers take are all derived through this process. But the core part is how to code, and this is our confidential technology. Regarding the ingredients, if any drug or non-nutrient element is found in my regenerative nutrients, then it's a fake one. It's not allowed. The reason is because the drug will bring problems and the regenerative substance and drug work in different ways. As for the discovery of the human body regenerative potential, as I mentioned above, yes, we do have it. We originally found regenerative cells in a burn wound and announced it in 1989. It was called regenerative cells. 
because at that time the marker of skin stem cells have not been identified. Later, in 2001 or 2002, we identified and confirmed that these cells are keratin-19 positive stem cells, the ancestor of skin cells. The regenerative restoration of skin, fatty tissue, and subcutaneous tissue are all dependent on this type of cell. This gave me a big inspiration. If the largest organ of our human body, skin, has regenerative ability, then each of our organs can regenerate as well. This is the generality. The key is to decode every organ's mystery with our technology. This is the first time we uncovered the mystery, the effects of regenerative restoration are not only achieved in the phase of research or experiments, but in the clinical application worldwide. Nowadays, more than 20 countries introduce this technology. More than 40 million patients were treated by our technology. Skin with an extensive burn wound can be regenerated without scarring or disability, especially some. Let's take a look at... It looks really ugly like a wounded skull with soft tissue and a bone defect. Look at the wound with a bone defect on the skull. How severe is it? The wound reached the endocranium as seen under an x-ray. The cerebrospinal fluid is just under the endocranium. Nevertheless, regene rate of restoration can also be achieved on such severe wounds. The skull heals gradually under the effects of MEBT MIBO. Though it has not healed completely, it will be very soon. If wounds like this can be regeneratively restored, then the scars or fibrosis inside the body is not a problem anymore. It is unnecessary to worry about your skin, especially for women, since it can be restored to a younger status. This is not cell rejuvenation, but turning your tissue back to normal, which is regenerative restoration. What is more shocking, multi-organs are able to regeneratively restore simultaneously. Take a severed finger as an example. Regeneration of a severed finger does not only include the skin, but also the many other organs and tissues that must grow simultaneously in order to maintain the integrity of the finger. Whether there is a concept of simultaneous growth in human body or not, it's what I want to explain today. The organs in the human body under the command of the brain can coordinate with each other and regenerate in situ, which is even superior to the lower animals. We should be excited about this. For example, a lizard will regenerate its tail if it is cut off since there is a germative layer in the tail, but this will not occur in lizard's claw. However, human beings can regenerate their limbs, which demonstrate the superiority of higher mammals. Okay now, let's take a look at the regenerative of a severed finger. The finger palatum is one of the major human organs rich in nerves connected to the brain, and we have different sensations when touching with our hands, which is different from other skin areas, since the finger palatum can discern many things. Well, let's see how this finger regenerated. The severed finger, like this, grew step by step, but it will be shorter than its normal length because bone grows slower than skin tissues. It takes about 50 days to recover skin tissue, while it takes about three months for bone to recover. About two years later, it can recover to its normal physical appearance and function. In the case of a severed finger, the fingerprint can recover its normal pattern. In this case, the finger of the patient was bitten off and he resorted to taking the case to court but defendant said his finger hadn't been bitten up. You see, the finger was severed, but it was regenerated by our treatment. The defendant actually committed crime in this case, but he had no idea that the regeneration occurred. This is called one-time direct healing. It is better for the common people to know little about medical treatments, as long as they know to smear the ointment in time to regenerate a severed finger. Once some debriment and disinfection are performed, the regenerative treatment efficiency of the ointment will be affected. See this finger is broken from the nail base. It was replanted after injury and necrotized six days later. The wound was infected after necrosis. Eleven days after we cleaned up the infectious area, the wound continued to recover. Yes, eleven days of regeneration, you see. The growth is very fast. At 22 days it healed. Though it healed, it was still defected because it was not as long as before. This is called incomplete regeneration. Why? This occurred because the wound was infected and the tissue did not grow synchronously due to the infection. What should we do? We must believe that our newborn finger body also has the regenerative potential. So, we innovatively tried to cut off the new finger body again to initiate secondary regeneration and promote its growth. This is the first time we tried it and we were successful. The defected part can grow and the bone can grow gradually. This case tells us that their human fingers include all the tissues of a human body. 
such as the four tissues, epithelium, nerve, muscles, and connective tissue. They can grow simultaneously, and all other organs in our body can also do so. To tell you the truth, all the organs of the human body except the brain have achieved regeneration. That is why today I dare to give this announcement. This is the first lecture, and there will be many others later. We will announce the results of one organ after another. In fact, it is not difficult to achieve regeneration of brain cells, but there is a problem. There is no function with the newly regenerated cells. Why? It is due to the nerve fibers. There is no connection between cells. The brain is different from the other organs. For example, children have brains, but they don't have the knowledge of an adult. Just like the empty hard disk or floppy disk, there is no content. The inner content of brain cannot be connected, but I have confidence in overcoming this challenge. Since I have not overcome it now, I won't talk about it. But let's see another case in which the patient treated himself at home. What is the actual benefit to the public? It costs only 100 RMB to fix a severed finger. He needed three or four tubes of ointment, and four tubes of ointment only cost about 100 RMB. How cheap and simple. Our future regenerative supplements will be as easy to eat as your breakfast. One breakfast is enough for a whole day, which will greatly improve your quality of life. It is still ongoing. At the cost of 100 RMB, you can regenerate a finger at home. You can see these pictures of home treatment. So if the finger of your family member or neighbors are cut off, you have to try to use this ointment. Pay attention here, we need to clarify one concept. If only the muscle of the finger is cut off, it is not severed finger. The severed finger means the bone is involved. Injury without the bone involved is like a scald injury, which has been proved to be curable in practice. Intractable diseases mean the disease cannot be cured by current medicine. Though we have achieved a lot in medicine, there are still lots of problems that remain uncurable. Chronic atrophic gastritis. What is chronic atrophic gastritis? The main pathogenesis is that the gastric tissue is replaced by intestinal tissue. Currently, there is no effective method to relieve or cure it. Because there is no effective treatment in science, these conditions are called intractable diseases. However, our treatment can handle these diseases successfully. It will only take one year to regeneratively restore the intestinal tissue in the stomach into normal gastric tissue. That is to say, this intractable disease can be cured. We have had a lot of such cases. Let's see this case. A historical picture shows chronic aphrodictic gastritis eight months ago. After eight months, the picture showed the normal state of the stomach. Intestinal tissues disappeared, which means no intestinal epilization occurred. Chronic atrophic gastritis is cured. Today, in this meeting, there are many experts of the digestive system. Results indicate that you can treat digestive diseases with a very good method. Other intractable diseases, such as liver, cirrhosis, resulting from fibrosis, and hepatitis of various kinds, can be regeneratively restored. Now we will talk about the regenerative restoration of the liver. We spend three years achieving the regenerative restoration of a liver with cirrhosis. Let's see this case. The patient suffered from liver fibrosis for 30 years and sprinox 7.3 centimeters under rib. Now the spleen has become a normal size and the biochemical functions indexes of livers have been completely regeneratively recovered. This is not the only case where the patient has achieved regenerative restoration. In our experiment consisting of 208 subjects, many of them achieved the regenerative restoration of the liver, and even other organs were restored after the treatment. Next, besides the intractable diseases, we can also treat cancers. Cancer tissues can be regeneratively restored, and cancer cells can also be replaced by regenerative cells. As shown in this picture, this is a cancer tissue, more specifically a skin cancer diagnosed by pathologic examinations. After regenerative treatments, cancer cells were replaced by regenerative cells. 22 days after beginning the treatment, cancer tissue recovered back to normal tissues. The cancer tissue disappeared and then skin organs regenerated. Let's take a look at another case. This cancer was cured after 20 days, so treating cancers is as simple as treating general wounds. Now we have set up a national medicinal network which makes the treatment more convenient. The only thing you need to do is smear amoebo ointment on the wound. As we all know, there are two types of skin cancer, squamous carcinoma and androcarcinoma. Today, I didn't show you the pictures of androcarcinoma, but only the squamous carcinoma. I'm afraid the professional pictures of androcarcinoma may scare the female attendees here. So what you will see is about squandrocarcinoma. Our technology has been applied routinely to treat these kinds of diseases for many years. So what I'm saying here is no longer news. Now, we also use bone marrow regeneration to counter cancers 
especially cancers with respect to blood cells, which originate from marrow. Our treatment is not to kill cancerous cells like chemotherapy does. What we do is regenerate new normal cells from bone marrow, which is the origin of blood cells, to replace the cancerous cells. On January 2008, we announced that we wanted to help the terminal cancer patients pass their last days since they have given up medical treatment. As for the result of this project, we will release them in detail later. Here, the certificate issued by the hospital and granted to those who have given up on their treatment when they were discharged is shown. After joining our project, we performed a diagnosis, assessment, and result analysis for these patients. This picture is examination report before bone marrow regeneration. We spent three months regenerating the bone marrow of the dying cancer patients. This picture is the examination report before bone marrow regeneration. This picture is the examination report after the bone marrow regeneration. Of course, once bone marrow recovers to a normal state, leukemia can be controlled. This is a simple truth. Minister Xiao was diagnosed with CLL. CLL developed even more slowly, but we need believe that we will be able to replace the cancerous cells with the new regenerative cells through our regenerative restoration science and technology. More and more regenerated normal cells indicate the gradual recovery of normal marrow. The marrow are completely regeneratively restored when all cancer cells are replaced by normal cells, which is the fundamental principle to treat cancers. By now, I believe you have a clear idea about human body regenerative restoration science. Next, we'll talk about rejuvenation. I have never talked about this topic. I previously dared not talk about it. Now, I decided to talk about it after we discovered the mechanisms of scarring. So how does one remove scars? Scars are the result of the fast and acute fibrosis of the skin organ after trauma, while the aging of the internal organs is chronic fibrosis. With the relationship of the acute and chronic fibrosis as our research model, we discovered the mystery of rejuvenation.